Now we move to one of the questions that I like most. All of the following insert into the lateral tubercle of Whitnell, except lateral cancel tendon, Whitnell's ligament, check ligament of the lateral rectus muscle, suspensory ligament of the eyeball. So, in fact, this is a misleading question. The correct answer, of course, is Whitnell ligament. And this is very weird now, because when you see this is uh, the, the lateral tubercle of Whitnell, and Whitnell's ligament does not insert into it. Here is the misleading part. So, this part is called the lateral orbital tubercle of Whitnell, and it lies 11 mm beneath the frontozygomatic suture, which is a communication between the frontal bone and the zygomatic bone. So the lateral orbital tubercle lies completely on the zygomatic bone, but it's 11 mm below the frontozygomatic suture. The importance of the frontozygomatic suture is that Whitnell's ligament inserts into it, inserts into this suture, as you can see. So it runs transversely, and it's supporting the upper lid, and it's the part where the levator palpebris superioris transmits from the muscle part to the tendon part, and it's the area where Muller's muscle, which lies behind this aponeurosis, arises to exert its action on the upper lid. The lower lid also has a ligament, like Whitnell's ligament. It's called the ligament of Luke Wood, and it lies transversely and supports the septum and the inferior rectus and inferior oblique fascia.